Welcome back, everyone, to RBG Gold Rush, supporting you, our rad. I'm Musical Daredevil, and I am here with Benedictator, who is going to be running some Bioshock for us. You want to talk a bit about the run, sure. Benedictator? Sure, yeah. Okay, I'll talk about it for a little bit here. Um, Bioshock 2, super fun speedrun. All the Bioshock games are pretty fun. Um, it's it's kind of interesting. It's so, so Bioshock 2 is sort of considered, like, the the least of all the Bioshock games. But as far as speedrunning goes, I think it might be the most fun. Um, just it's it's a fun run, but you also get drill dash at, at one point. So then you're just zooming all over the place. And it's, it's just it's just an ent entertaining run all around. Uh, but it's also as after Bioshock 2, we're going to be doing the DLC for this game, The Nervous Den, which is interestingly enough considered to uh, possibly be the best Bioshock like content ever made. And the speed run for that is also super fun. Uh, very quick, but super fun. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just kind of get started here and I'll kind of, uh, we'll, we'll just rock and roll. Let's do it. I'll go ahead and give you a little countdown here. Uh, actually, they want actually, me to give the countdown for this one. So, so yeah, some behind the scenes stuff. All right. All right. So you can start so the run start in run three, in three, two, two, one, one, go, go. Here we go. Nothing too crazy yet. We'll, we'll be doing a variety of different tricks. Um, one of the big ones that we're going to be doing is um, some, some audio diary skips. And what we're going to do is at the beginning uh, of certain levels, or at, at certain points in other levels, we need to play an audio diary at exactly the right time. Um, we need to basically play it at the scoop. If you did that menu, um, play it at the same time that a radio message is popping. Do you hear me? And it's like a frame, frame perfect like, little trick, but then it just skips all the dialogue for the rest of the game. And like certain doors will be locked um, until like certain dialogue finishes. So we can just like get past all those doors right away because we're skipping all the dialogue. Um, so you'll kind of see it's at the beginning of the next level. Hopefully they get the first time, but you'll see. That's, that's like probably like the biggest unlocking all the space. A good amount of time. But we'll be doing a variety of other cool tricks. Daddy was sleeping. It's a fun run. For such a long time. It's and Eleanor has also, missed you. I saw Cross Ryan followed the channel. Cross Ryan's a, a buddy of mine. Ah! Daddy! Um, so it's nice to see you, Cross Ryan. See if there's anybody else that I that I missed here. Welcome to everybody, by the way. I hope you guys all enjoy watching the run. Um, okay, so one thing we're gonna try to do is if this lady moves out of the way we can stand over oh, she went right in the way. Usually we like her to hop inside so we can that a little quicker, but she decided to hop uh, right in front of me. So we gotta like look at these lights. Certain lights here are gonna burst, and we're just kind of it's kind of annoying. There's some weird look triggers. At last, a so signal. We're waiting for this door right You door who are bringing this it's dead city to slow. life, listen. My name it. It is Tanabal. Kind of like I know who you are, and, you and I am in much need of your help. Place. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. But as actually, lover this, to the Rapture family. Finishes earlier. Excuse me. Burp here. Um, this this next sequence here will finish faster if we lose. Uh, so I got a pretty good way of trying to make sure we take a lot of damage. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for some Bioshock. I missed Symphony of the Night. That's too bad. The whole the whole Castlevania block is really good. I saw the whole thing. Alright, so we're going to rush towards her and try to get hit from the attack here. Otherwise, if we don't get hit, sometimes she'll like two bombs and go down. We basically oh. we want her to shoot some fire off. We want this door behind us to catch fire. Oh. There we go. We're gonna try to get her to stay right there if we can. We want a real close. Oh. Because then when she busts down the door, it'll take less time for her. There she is. She's right next to me. That's very good. Wasn't bad at all. This is like an intro level, obviously. The next level is This is Dr. Sophia Lau with a message from the people. Now we'll get to the level. There's a little trick here. Like, deal. Your respawn, or not respawn, but the game like, places us at a certain point in this map. 
and we can like manipulate that by looking in a certain spot while this whole chamber is flooding. And we got put in the good spot because we're quicker or we're closer to the exit. In that Usually suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many so great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train okay. station. Move Find me there. Drop underwater. So we're just gonna bounce around. Boing. 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 This plant right here where the arrow's pointing, sometimes a little like body block you if you move into it wrong, so just avoid it. You can like hop over it. It's not like super hard to hop over it. Try to avoid time loss by sneaking around it. Point. Jump. Point. It's bouncy. There's not a whole lot. There's like some underwater spots in the game, a few. Um, but not a whole lot. We'll, we'll run into it, I think, like two or three more. So the rest of the run. Bounce around. Just bounce. Oh, hi, big sister. There you go. There we go. We're gonna go inside and go into the next level. Alright, so at the beginning of this next level, there's gonna be an audio battery suit that I was talking about. We're gonna try to get it on the first try. There's like some visual cues that I'm looking at so I know when to play this audio diary, but it is a little tricky. Let's let's cross our fingers and hope we can get it first try, like I say. And we get to listen to some sweet old old timey jazz jams. I actually really do like the music of this game. Oh, first try! Woo! Look at me! Nice, Big, nice. awesome speedrun man. <laughs> I did, I, uh, yeah, that's it's kind of tricky. Like I say, that one's that one's probably like one of the easier ones. It's not that big of a deal. Like that's kind of <laughs> being a little ridiculous there. All right, shoot! Hack, hack. Hacking in Bioshock 2, by the way, in my opinion, is far superior to the hacking in Bioshock 1. Bioshock 1 has like a uh, mini game, a lot like the Waterworks game, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, which is like entertaining at first, but it gets kind of tedious after a while. And the Bioshock 2 hacking, much better in my opinion. We activate this little cutscene, and I'm gonna do a little drop. We love the whole thing, nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. You got this part all set up. This is what I, we got a little time to say if I like to. Do a little drawing. Subjective. Make a happy man. Since I watched you put a gun to Wearing a cool hat. And pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain. We got a little bit of I don't know if we got any donations, but we got like a minute here while we're listening to some dialogue. So it's a good time to read it off if we got any. Look at him. Look how happy that guy is. That's very That's happy. Very happy. Look at how happy that guy is. Like all I have done. But that would be well, that would be a good to mention, time to mention that, that, that we do have some esports attire over at Sector 6 Gaming. Gaming. We have a wide have a assortment, wide assortment of, of shorts, hats, 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 joggers, and, and, so, and much more. so much more. We even have, we even an, have exclusive an exclusive RBG Gold, Gold, Gold Rush shirt where the person just go directly to Rad. Be sure to head to sectorgirl.com slash slash RBG for all RBG merch. True art. I appreciate it, Crossfire. You know it. All right, so I was kind of like staring off into the corner in that little section. Oh, bad hops, that's sad. Um, it like scooches us forward a little bit if we're standing in the corner and looking at a certain spot when that little sequence ends, so it scooches us just a tad. All right, now we're gonna get our telekinesis. In Bioshock 1, telekinesis is like your super crazy OP plasmid, it just like one shots everything. Um, it's they scaled it down a little bit in Bioshock 2, so it's not quite as powerful. Um, the ice, the ice uh, plasmid basically ends up being a good one. Okay, so there's like a small window where you can hop right before this little cutscene plays, and if you do it just right, you can hop on top of this little wagon, and you just get like that extra, extra little, small little distance. So I, I pulled it off successfully. You can use it now. Please. We have to be like this wagon is holding a plasma, so we have to like be able to grab this plasma. So it's good, good hops, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. He knows the way. New uh, bio shot coming out eventually. By the way, for anybody who's not aware, it's not not anytime soon. It's it's far far in the future, but they are currently working on a new bio shot game. 
group called Cloud Chamber, so I don't know, probably probably like one plus years in the future. We won't be seeing it anytime soon, but I am I am very excited for a new Bioshock game. It's been a long time. Definitely something I'll be learning. Alright, so we're gonna like bust up these NPCs with these barrels just so we get them out of our way. Get in here and I'm gonna try to find a man with a hat. I don't think you have a hat, sir. Nope, I want a guy with a hat. Oh you I think you have a hat. Nope. You do. Let me get you. I need him. Oh, how sad. Oh, no. Did I got it? Yeah. All right. Can I get it? Can I bring it in here? No. <laughs> I wasn't able to. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, no, I did. All right. Oh, good. I got to be quick. Okay. So there's a little trick. It, it saves like a second or two. It's not a big deal if we don't pull this off, but it is like one of my favorite tricks in this run. So we can get this hat to scooch us kind of to the side. And if I do it fast enough, we can scooch to a spot where we'll get shoved like underneath the elevator. Oh, we're not getting moved at all. It's not working like I want in any way. All right. Uh, do I have time? Maybe if I do it like right. No. All right. It was a good try. It, it's it's a fail. There's like a ledge right up around here that if I was if I was able to drop that hat on my head correctly, it would shove us through the elevator floor and we would die, and we would just respawn in this next area a little faster. But it was just being a little unkind to me. Yeah, there's like a Vita chamber right there that we spawn and we can get out of it a little a little quicker. You know, like two or three seconds. That would have been nice, but it's not not the end of the world. We're gonna pick up some of those trap rivets. We're gonna want those. They'll come in useful during the uh, fight at the end of this level. Hat strats. I know, I almost had it. I was so excited about it, but I just couldn't pull it off. Take care of that guy real quick. Get our trap rivets out, and we'll uh, let this dialogue play here. So this next fight after this, this after this little I thing, um, this next fight is scripted out pretty pretty well. Hopefully I, hopefully I pull it off nice and clean. We'll see. If I do not, more children will die for my sin. I wish I could have shown off those hat straps. Like I say, it's one of my favorite tricks, but not the end of the world for sure. We must talk. All right. Here we go. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. All right, Tenenbaum. He's like a recurring character from the original Bioshock. One of the only characters that we see like more than once, I feel like. Here we go. Oh, I exploded everything. I didn't need to do that. Where is this last person? Oh, there you are. Right, that was kind of slow, but that's all right. Oh, I thought that person was a enemy. That could have been a little faster. It wasn't the worst, but definitely not the best. All right, here's another level where we gotta do an audio diary skip at the beginning. This one, in my opinion, is, is I don't know, kind of difficult. Just because the setup for it is a little, a little tougher. So I want to line that little audio diary thing in the bottom right hand corner with those lights on that uh, panel there. There we go. That's good. So as soon as we start moving, I'm going to quick save. That way, if I fail, I can just load it real quick. All right. So. Nope. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Lesson one. Nope. Not, not there either. All right. Here we go. Here we go. There we go, got it. Third try isn't horrible. It's probably like an average, average. Usually probably takes me two or three tries to get those. Okay, now we'll go through this level here. This is the first level where we get to encounter a big daddy and a little sister, but it's like a really scripted one. Like it forces you to rest, or it forces you to deal with them, whereas most levels it's like an optional thing. We're gonna get a weapon upgrade. The only one we really care is our drill damage increase. That'll be useful. Our electro bolt and drill dam or drill attack ends up doing uh, some pretty significant damage uh, at certain points of the run. You know, all right, we got our ticket. We just need that ticket to get into the little theme park. That's what this this whole level is basically like a big theme park thing. Now we got our golden ticket. How lucky! How lucky for us! I will grab this weapon here. Got it. 
Now we're gonna go grab a uh, tonic. This is gonna be sports boost, which is gonna allow us to uh, move a little faster. It's gonna pop up Bonk, right there. Got it. There we go. Now we get a little bit of a speed boost. Get some supplies as we're moving along. There we go. Now we're gonna go fight our big daddy. There's gonna be like a little message that plays here, but we can uh, skip it by playing an audio diary. So that's that's what we just did there. We skip it. Um, I'm gonna hit that so that we can recharge our Eve so we're at full Eve for this next fight. I'm gonna get my telekinesis and my machine guns. I'm gonna launch. Cow. Launch. Cow. And we're gonna switch to our Electro Bolt and do some drill attacks. That is a pretty clean fight, guys. It doesn't get too much better than that. Lured him into the water, did some Electro Bolt and melee attacks, which in the water he takes extra damage. This is very, I'm very happy with that. It's very clean. It's just very nice. Okay, Dust Rats, go. We got some, we got some of the harder tricks uh, a little later on. This is a really neat, a neat thing here. Um, so, we're gonna do this thing. This is a unique to Bioshock 2. They don't do this in Bioshock 1. But we gotta help these little sisters, like, harvest Adam out of these bodies. And what happens is when we do it, it's basically a horde mode. When, when she's harvesting, its enemies appear and start attacking us. We are just going to Electro Bolt them. That's all we're gonna do. Um, so we're not gonna kill any of them. We stun them, and they're like, after they get stunned, they'll run away, and then they'll run back a little later on. Um, but what this does is during the next gathering sequence, for some reason, if we do this, it makes it so that none of the enemies spawn during the next gathering sequence. We just don't have to worry about them. I don't, I don't know that it actually saves any time, but it does um, definitely make these fights easier, or the next fight easier. They usually don't go right away after they've been zapped. Um, so yeah, that's I don't know. It's just kind of a weird. I think it has something to do with like the number of um, like the number of enemies on a screen at once. You know what I mean? I might have I might have ran out a little quick. I think we're good. I don't want you guys to all die to be honest. There we go. All right, all these enemies right here. Oh come on, come on, come on. Be nice to me. There we go. Give me that child. Are you guys leave me alone, please? I'm just trying to get out of here. Hop down here. Electro bolt, see if we can get yeeted. Sometimes we get like yeeted way up in the air here. Boing. Oh, not as not as high as I get sometimes. Sometimes it's like launches me way up into the air. Doesn't do anything, it's just cool. So we can kill this one enemy, and then hopefully no any other enemies spawn, and we should be just fine for this little gathering sequence. Oh yeah, we got the one enemy in this room that we can take out and be safe as well. Okay, yeah, we should be able to do this next gathering sequence in peace. While she's gathering, I'm gonna go loot a thing and do a thing and hopefully oh, oh no no oh oh no that's not a great thing to see i want her to be not shooting maybe if i leave her alone she'll go away all right i might just have to end up it's, it's pretty uncommon that there's enemies here but but i think since one spawn now we're gonna have a whole bunch spawning oh hi friend as long as it's just one, I'll let him do some damage to me. I'm actually fine with taking a little bit of damage. While he's doing that, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab. Oh, he's not going after the little sister, is he? Oh, there you are. Here. Oh, oh, no, no, no! You don't leave her alone, sir. Hmm, daddy. Yeah, it's kind of goofy that there was even the one enemy. Usually, there's none, but oh. Ooh. That's that's fine. I can live with that. All right, we're almost done. Good. All right, we're gonna get our trap rivets out and our telekinesis. Um, we're gonna grab this explodey barrel here, and we're gonna carry this to the little hidey hole. Leave me alone, lady. Don't shoot my barrel. Hopefully there's a couple of like enemies that we'll encounter in the hallway and hopefully none of them shoot my barrel. There's I got backup strats if they do, but I need this barrel. I need to explode myself later and do a death blow. That's the point. That is the point. We'll see. Sometimes there's a guy here with a gun that likes to shoot me. Looks like he's not shooting me, so I think we're safe. I, oh, 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 oh. 
All right, he shot me a couple times, but my barrel is safe. Sometimes they'll shoot your barrel while trying to shoot you, and then they'll light on fire and explode early, and that's just all the sad times. Okay, so we're gonna drop this barrel in a second. I'm gonna shoot some crap rivets behind me to block anybody who's like trying to follow me. Here we go. I'll grab that money, cash money, do a zapping. I'm gonna get my hat gun out. We're gonna harvest this little girl. Sorry, lady, I need your sweet, sweet Adam. Yeah, we harvest all the little sisters in this game, by the way. It's pretty cool, pretty dark. That's how we roll, that's how we do. If you speedrun Bioshock 1 at all, you know that in the speedrunning community, we're not a huge fan of the Little Sisters. It's kind of a hassle, so we usually don't lose too much sleep over having to tell them to go away. Alright, uh, I need you to take a little more damage. Alright, there we go. We'll hop on here, hop up here, grab our barrel. So, I did some damage to myself before jumping up there. We get, like, invincibility frames in this game, so we can, like, do some damage and then set ourselves up for our death warps. There we go. I death warped out of that room, up to this area. We'll continue. This is Edna. Edna's my bae. She's very rude to Edna, but I like Edna. Alright. Grab some loots. Grab some loots. My health is a pretty good spot. I could have probably used my health a little bit lower, but I don't know. I'll, I'll take that. So we're gonna get our incinerate here, and then we are gonna go back. Now we can leave the level. Our exit was basically frozen. Oh, I thought I froze, uh, hit him with fire. That was close to stunning. Um, we'll, we'll zap you. We don't need to take any damage from you, sir. Um, yeah, the, the exit to this level was basically frozen. So we got our fire. Now we can melt the exit and get out of here. So this is like big sister fight here. Usually you fight her in this room to our left. We're just going to run past because we're getting ready to do a death warp. That's why we got this exploding barrel. If we do a death warp at a very certain spot in this next room, it'll warp us past the locked door. We're going to jump up here. Boink, boink. Here we go. Cow, do some damage. Cow, do some damage. Invincibility frame achieved. Now I just need somebody to shoot me. Do the damage, guys. There we go. Perfect. Is it shorter to take them? Nope. It's actually a little bit longer to, um... Or it's a little bit longer to save, or to harvest them. It's, it's faster to save them. But, we actually do need the Atom in this uh, run. The Atom is, like, not such a big deal in um, the other the other run, Bioshock 1. Um, but there are a bunch of purchases that we do want to make in this run. Okay, so we moved past where we normally fight the big sister. But that big sister is still chasing us, even though we did the death warp and everything. So by looking down, standing in the corner, we can force her to spawn in this room, which will happen in just a second. She has some more of that sweet, sweet Adam that we want. There it is, I got it. Now we can get out of here. Not too bad. Oh, so mean. I know, I know. It's pretty messed up that we, we harvest these girls. <laughs> love this game though so do i so do i did i play mighty number nine yet are you talking to me specifically i have not played mighty number nine but i feel like maybe you're not talking to me we did well in that that level um so i have been a little bit behind i'll run but now i, I pulled ahead I'm, I'm ahead of my pb by 0.9 seconds at the moment. but let's not get too excited all right so no audio diary skip at the beginning of this level thank goodness Oh yeah, yeah, the run. Oh yeah, after this, yeah, there you go. Three years. At that door, we're gonna get our drill dash in this level. Thank goodness, drill dash is super fun, and it allows us to zoom all over the map. I kind of wanted that. Eve. There we go. It's fine. I got it. Kill the barrel from that guy. This is a goddamn city some, wide some dollars, four dollars. To keep the train some loot. All right. So this is the reason why we harvest little sister because we get a lot of atom and we need enough atom to buy these things. We are gonna buy a plasmid slot. We are gonna buy the decoy. We are gonna put that right here in the empty slot, and we're gonna get winter blast and put that in place of telekinesis. And we are also gonna come down here and get the tonic drill lurker to give us some extra Hotel melee damage, which will come in useful. Deluxe. I am gonna do a little safety. Safety save here. This trick, this trick should be fine. It's not like a hard trick, but I'm, we're gonna try to get this brute splicer up here to spawn in a certain spot, and it's you know, pretty, pretty easy. But sometimes the things go just wrong. We won't spawn where we want. Hit that code. 
I'm gonna run up here. So normally this brute placer, like, he's just supposed to be a menace that, like, you see, and then he goes away, you encounter him later in level. But by facing this decoy, oh, there we go, nice. We can get him to spawn there, like, early. Ooh, I took too much damage. We'll take a little bit of life. I didn't want to lose that much damage. That thing's a miracle in tech. There you go. There he is. All right. Works like a movie camera. So we're doing research on this guy. This is the whole point of what we're doing here. We're doing research on this guy because he's going to give us this drill dash that we just got. I'm getting ready for a death warp. Lose some life here. Summon some bots. Now that we got the drill dash. We can zoom all over the place and we can head on out to where we actually want to be in this level. But like a certain door, for some reason, it's like a weird little thing. But there's a certain door that won't, like, it'll be locked unless we do a, a death, unless we die right there. So we die as soon as we get this drill dash and then we can, like, move on through the level. This is like one of the trickier things about drill dashing. You can, like, open up doors and, like, duck underneath doors and, like, move around super, super ass if you're tricky. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk nice. blocking your way. We're moving fast, fast. So this is where, the, in my opinion, where this run gets super fun, because you just get a drill dash all over the place, which is awesome. Oops. Now to break through that mess, Zoom! I expect you're going to have to work out how he got so early. I heard him. Now, there's like a way you can bend these drill dashes like around corners. So there's like almost like an art to it. Buy some more ammo here. Maybe like in the pipe. Or we're gonna want more of those eventually. Get some research on that guy. Simply research. Zooms. Once in a while, as you learn what makes a splice of tape. Now, find one of those. Oh, that thing! Oh, there we go. Take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to. There we go. That was some pretty, pretty decent movement there. Some good zooms. The story to the game series is by far one of your favorites. Interesting. Most most people. Oh, look at her. She's sitting through the chair. That's that's. <laughs> I'm pointing at it like you can see what I'm pointing at. Sometimes she like sits and stands like through the chair. This is a fun little thing. Doesn't always happen. She was like, she was sitting in through whatever. Yeah. Collision. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people are not a huge fan of this story. A lot of people think it's, although uh, Minerva Zen, which we're going to be doing after this, a lot of people say that's like the best story that Bioshock has. So I don't know. It's, it's a, an interesting dichotomy. I don't mind it so much, except Eleanor. It gets a little bit annoying. It got, there's kind of a general consensus in the speaker community that Eleanor gets a little annoying with her um, diatribes, especially like in one of the last Grace levels where it's like oh, the whole level is her just talking at you. Um, so yeah, it's it's a thing. Oh, I meant to place a, a dummy down there, but maybe next time she'll think. You want to do full health, or else that little jump right there will kill you. Oh, that little decoy was meant to open this door, but that's fine. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away. We got um, everything we no need for this level. Alive, that was uh, Grace Holloway, which no we're, she gave us the key that. to get out of here. A now we can escape. Especially that. now that we... Ooh, ooh, that was a bad drill dash. So if you do a bad drill dash, it'll, like, stun you like that, which is just the saddest no feeling. Liar. It's just the but saddest feeling. It, like, stun locks you for a second or two. Seem that right was a goofy. It slid, slid me way to the right there. I can't call off the All right. Family. Got it. That was okay. Some decent movement here and there, but I, I lost a little bit of a little bit of time with some movement in other spots. Like all in all, we're saving time. Oh, by the way, my little you can see the little lump inside my chest. It's not an alien. It's my little Chihuahua. He's he looks like he's almost getting ready to to make an appearance. Oh, are you going back down, my lovely little Chihuahua? What are you doing? Are you I just saw, gonna stand there? there? Okay. Yeah, did he peek up? Yep, he likes it. He's so, you didn't know, but he's actually been laying inside my shirt, like laying on my belly, literally this whole time. So he's kind of like a kangaroo. He just hangs out in the little shirt pouch um, and just, just chills. Usually, like he can tell when I'm wrapping up a stream, he can usually like tell a different cadence in my voice. So I'm pretty positive that at the end of my runs here. Oh, oh, here he, <laughs> there he is. Say hi, Bentley. Wow, what's up, bud? Hi. Hi, handsome. 
There's your dog packs, everybody. This guy is, uh, he's known in my stream as, as the terror. He's being pretty nice right now, but like, if there's any, like, if my roommates are moving around downstairs or if he just gets excited by something, um, like sometimes while I'm streaming, you'll just randomly hear a growl or some barking. And that's Bentley letting the world know. Letting the world know. Um, okay, another level where we do not have to do a uh, audio diary skip, thank goodness. This level's, I don't know, probably my least favorite. Just overall, it's kind of annoying. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. There's like a few spots. Like, this spot coming up is, I don't know, kind of an annoying fight. I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me. Take her out. There we go. One nine, one nine. Hit that combo, and then we're gonna come back and hack this guy. Hex. Hex. And hex. There we go. We're gonna use this turret to do some research and get another spoo beast. We're gonna come here and set some traps. Trap, 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 trap. There we go. Got it. Come back here, and we are just gonna hang out and wait for a second. And we're gonna have some um, splicers that are gonna drop down here. And like I said, we're gonna let the research roll and, and hopefully for the most part, let the turret just take their health down while we just soak up that sweet, sweet research. This guy should die instantly. Oh, nope, slap held him out. There we go, I got the freeze off in time. That guy runs away real quick if you're not being careful. I got him in time, thank goodness. He's trying to run away. All right, so now we should have in a second some more should drop and get a some more some more research going on. Oh, hi, friend. Uh, you might be too far for this guy to hit, so I'll give you a hand. There we go. Yeah, he's having trouble hitting you. I'll give him a hand. All right, I feel like I should have got my speed boost. It looks like it's taking a little bit extra time here. Hopefully, it should get it for me. There we go, movement speed. That's what I was waiting for, just the movement speed. More here, and we'll get ready to fight a uh, brute who's going to be popping out of the wall up here. Um, we can kill him a little bit earlier by doing like a little bit of like out of boundsy type stuff. We're not supposed to be able to come in here. Oh, we will. Uh, <laughs> we'll just do some damage. All right, very nice, very nice. All right, we will move on. That sequence was pretty smooth, to be honest. That was not too bad at all. We will get out of here. Let that guy run past me, very nice. Come over here and buy some uh, supplies real quick. We're gonna get some drill fuel, all the drill fuel, and maybe like a knee pipe or two. All right. <clears throat> Do a drill dash or two. We're gonna come over here and take some research of another spider slicer or two. I don't know if I actually need to do research on these guys, but dang it, I'm I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna. Yeah, this this might be a little unnecessary at this point. I might have all the research I need, but oh well. We go up there. Activate that guy up there. Take this guy. Wow, we did some good damage to him. Put a couple turrets down here. We are gonna freeze this guy, take a picture of him, and do some damage. And hopefully, I will lose all my life right when he is getting killed. If things go just right. Get out of here before I die. I got it. Okay, that was really good. Pump control, Lada. Be in the One thing, though. Are we gonna give it a Once second? We wanna do a death warp, but we don't wanna do it too quick. Alright, I think it should be good. We've got a tiny window of opportunity <laughs> to get you inside. I don't have much I'll go, this, yeah, but I'm my guy. The care. You make sure you're ready before you are a suggestion to Grace. Yeah, you know it. You know exactly how that'd be. Uh, do I need more drill fuel? Not really. Let me get that first aid kit. Alright. You're stuck till the backups kick in. Do some more zooms. Check zooms all over the place. Zooms for days. Get that E. Why not? Why not get that eat, right? That's always my philosophy. Do some zooms and get out of here. There's an enemy sleeping here. We'll yeet him out of there. Yeet him right off the edge. 
It's pretty great. And we're going to do a little trick uh, on our way out of here. We're like exiting this level. We're basically done with it. Um, but we're going to do a little trick where we're going to be able to pull out our drill underwater. Normally you're not supposed to be able to. Um, but yeah, by just doing whatever, a little bit of movement stuff, we can pull it out underwater and do our little drill dash on our way to the next level. Point. Point. Hop around, like I say, hop around while we're underwater. That's how we do. So you, you really like Bioshock Infinite the rest of history? Wait, you do like Bioshock in Infinite? I like Bioshock Infinite. It's a little, I in my opinion, a little tougher to speedrun, but it's a, um, casually I really enjoyed it. And it's it's also fun to speedrun, but it's just got some trickier, trickier tricks. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. I like the action. I thought the story was pretty cool. It loses some people towards the end, but for me, I thought it was really cool. That was good. We saved some good time there. That was not bad. We're, we're doing okay as far as this run goes. Well, we'll see. There's, we'll see. Uh, this is another level where we do have an audio diary skip, but it is not um, until a little later on in the run. Over here, buy some more drill fuel. Drill fuel, drill fuel, drill fuel, drill fuel. All the drill fuel. All right. We're going to put this bad boy down right here to um, help me with this fight. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. That. Grab that. Do some more drill dashes as we move on out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little decoy right there to trick these fools into leaving me alone. All right, we're gonna set up for our next audio diary skip. We want to look right into the corner there. Hand up. Do a quick save right about now. Let's hope we get this first try. We will see. Oh, nope, not first try. Yeah, this is one of the tougher ones. The visual cues... Oh, didn't get that that time either. The visual cue to hit this is a little tougher on this one. There we go, got a third try. Third try is not horrible. All right, do a little moving. We gotta go get to a spot and do a death warp. That's our current objective. Get to a spot and do a death warp. Oh, he's mad. He wants his toy. I get that, though. I feel that. Alright, we're gonna get our grenade launcher. How fun. The useful thing to have. Oh, I want that. Thanks. I need those. Okay. So this is where we're kind of trying to walk to. Right to this spot right here. That triggers, like, the next sequence. We'll come over here and uh, take some damage. And do a death warp. Got it. It does. Yeah, Bioshock Infinite. So right when it gets into like the multiple reality, multiple planes of existence or whatever, I know that game has a tendency, the story has a tendency to lose people. I think it's super cool. I like it. All right, we're going to pull out our grenade launcher, do some damage. I'm going to freeze him as well, except we are going to not hit him with grenades. We are going to freeze him and melee him instead. Here we go. So there's like the fast ways, fast ways to kill these guys. So this is another level. You have to deal with three little sisters in this level. You just have to. Level won't let you leave. We haven't found a way to leave unless you deal with three little sisters. Best way to do it is to quickly fight those guys and um, harvest little sisters ASAP. I got some pretty good movement out of that room before this whole thing started. Okay, so like, we did an audio diary skip. So all the dialogue in this level is skipped. However... These little sequences, after you deal with the little sisters in this level, these little sequences play out. The visual part of it. We can't skip it. So it's just like this awkward silence. It's got the subtitles there, but it's like just awkward silence. Normally, Eleanor would be chatting with you. So, and we just get to see Stanley Poole being a weird little creep. He's a good bad guy. You like to hate him. Okay. Time to buy some more things. A plasma slot. We'll get our telekinesis back. We're going to get Scout. That's going to allow us to do some cool trickery. We put it in place of fire. Winter Blast 2. Tougher Winter Blast. Because Winter Blast is the cool plasmid in this stuff. Ha! <laughs> Literally. That's funny. Alright, we're going to come here. Let's see. Let's refuel. Yeah, we're doing okay on that. Alright, let's not die. How about that? Alright, so I'm going to want to get my Electro Bolt out for this one. That was a weird... A weird drill dash there. 
One thing to do if you like have to reload your Eve, it's a good idea to pull your machine gun out and shoot him with a machine gun while you're waiting for uh, your Eve to reload. It's a little trick, a little combat trick for people who are a little whatever, like a little better at this game. Get into some of the more trickier time saves. To get a little extra damage out rather than just trying to slam them with your drill. You can do some machine gun attacks. Uh, they were body blocking me. They didn't let me get to that door. And almost, usually I can get like out of that door, but it's people body blocking me. Okay, little sister, two out of three that we dealt with. Getting that sweet, 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 sweet Adam. Now at this point, we don't need like a whole lot more Adam. We pretty much have all. And we can get a better Winter Blast later on, but we really don't need all this extra Adam. But if we were to try to rescue her, we'd have to grab the little sister, and then we'd have to find like these little hidey holes, and then take care of her there. It just adds like a whole step to it. So even though it's faster technically to to save them, it, it just adds a whole step. So we just we buy for uh, harvesting them. Sorry, little sisters. That's the way it's got to be. Throw dash all over the place. These are crazy throw dash kind of guys. Uh, let's save a little. Let's a little. There we go. We're gonna get ice. We're gonna get our charge this up. We're gonna freeze them, and we are gonna do that. There we go. Took care of him nice and quick. She was right there for me to rescue. That was nice and fast. Nice and fast. Um, kind of like the multiverse in comics. Yeah, you thought that part was cool. See, I thought that part was cool as well. You can see how people got lost in multiple timelines. Yeah, it just like, it was such a, a weird, like, I think it was such a, a turn in the story that people weren't expecting and it just threw people off. I liked it, but I think I'm in the minority there. Yeah, kind of like the multiverse in comics. Well, a lot, a lot like that, yeah. Two main variants of timelines. More, I think it's more than just two, isn't it? Also, hi, Off Waff. How are you doing? Off Waff, everybody does, does Bioshock speedruns as well. Um, I think mainly, like, usually he sticks to the uh, Bioshock Infinite stuff, which I'm not good at. Um, but he's, he's a, a cool streamer. Cool cool guy, cool streamer. Check him out if you're looking for uh, more Bioshock runners. Um, we are going to get our telekinesis. Grab that e hypo. Oh, out of my way, please, sir. Zoom on out of here. <clears throat> That seemed like that went pretty decent, although I think I'm losing that. It's always a man, always a city. And a lighthouse, that's right. There are a few times you're like, I think I know what's going on, but you're not sure. And then the last part of the final cutscene tied it together. Yeah, it, it took some, like, especially, my favorite part is the insane asylum. Spoilers. Just, I, I'm not spoiling too much, I suppose. The insane asylum is, like, my favorite level, and that's where I think, like, one of the cooler twists comes. Because the confusion made you super, super curious to find out what was happening. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm a this fan. I think you and I enjoy it in kind of like the same. Way. All right, Fontaine Futuristics. This is the level that um, I think gives me like some of the most trouble. All right, we're gonna replace uh, that with that Kalnik right there. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine. Man was trying to prevent the fast. To keep you alive, soft lockos. <laughs> yeah, soft lockos. That's funny. I've never heard that before. But basically, Tom Sockos, soft lockos. I like that. All right. Hello. Underwater again. My name is I'm going to through this little spot in plants here. Let me go. Let me go. There we go. So we want to get to the next part um, before this message finishes. And we're, we're doing just fine as, far as, as far as time goes. As long as you're not messing around too much, you'll get to this next spot. It's fine. I tell me this is out real quick. Get some ammo. All right, so we're going to wait for this objective marker on the top right hand side of the screen. Little bit. There it is. All right. We're going to try to do another diary skip here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was a little early. One, two. Oh, got it. The little arrow up in the top kind of bobs. And um, it kind of does like a nice convenient little countdown there. So um, let's get some drill fuel. There we go. So yeah, that's, that's one of the easier... Um, I skips to do, like I say, just because you kind of have this, like, nice, convenient little countdown. All right. Some trap rivets down. Can do a little fight here in a second. Any 
Anybody else alive still? Yes, yeah, you. All right. But nope. I want you to die. There we go. That was not the fastest. That fight could have gone a little faster, but that's wasn't wasn't too horrible. Yeah. So this is probably to me this is probably the toughest level. Mostly it's not so bad, except we get to one trick. One trick, and I, I, I pray that it's nice to me today. <laughs> I pray that it's nice to me. It is the um, theater skip. We do a little platforming. We set up a little... We, we build some stairs for ourselves, and it's it's a tough little uh, tough little thing to do. All right, so we can play an audio diary like normal to skip this dialogue. Like, it's one of the few times we do a diary skip in that way, usually we have to like do the nonsense where we play it at exactly the right time. But that's one where we can just literally play it through that dialogue without having to go through, like I say, all the, all the silly nonsense. Okay, let me get my grenade out. And we are gonna one shot this guy by freezing him and then hitting him with that grenade. We charge up our ice. Our ice is like leveled up enough where we can like now charge it up. And it like just does more damage. Got him. Remember soft dogs and many times you have in Comstock Elves? I think I think Comstock Elves is probably I would say where I think I'd probably soft lock the most. Although I don't I don't do a huge amount of Bioshock Infinite runs, so maybe like my pool of knowledge is not that high at the moment. You know what I mean? But I know I've done it there before in certain spots. Alright. Moving on past this these little spots, you just gotta wait for some dialogue here. Dropbox is always funny to me. It's like, hey, this is funny that it's happening, but why must you do it now? Yeah, like, that's a neat trick. As, as long as it, it's not so bad if you're not, like, ahead in time. If you got a crappy run going on in a softbox, it's like, all right, well, I guess I'm resetting. But, like, if you've got a good pace going on and you're, like, ready to get a PB in that tap, and it's just like, oh, why? Why, God? And not their brain, that's why the future is Fontaine. Thank you. I actually like him as a character. Like, he's a character in the bot in this level, and then he's like a character in a bat in the next level. He's like two different characters, but he's the same person, whatever. It's like a weird thing, but I, I really like him as a, a character. So that's the second spot in this level where we can literally just play an audio diary while certain dialogue is playing, and we just get past stuff. Alright, so we just gotta bust a few of these relays. That's the whole, that's what we're doing in this level. Gotta get three of them. That's one. Have some grenades here. I want all the grenades, and I'll take that too, thank you. I'm gonna place this right here. That's gonna help me, um, just get out of this room a little earlier. Zooms. Zooms. Nice. Zooms. All right, we're gonna get ready to do another death warp. We're gonna hit our second little relay and uh, do a death warp. Count. There's that, and we will come over here. There we go. Death warp. All right, time for the theater skip. Be nice to me. Most runs die in arcade when you can't find your hat. Oh, I know. Yeah, thank goodness we got um. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're gonna make a save here. It's the hard save, just in case things go all the way horrible. The safe there. I'm gonna place that right there. Put this sign right here. And we will get this guy and take this machine and bring it right over here. Alright. So we are gonna wanna get this little chair that I have onto its side. Are you onto it to your side? No, you're still up and down. There we go. Uh, let's have you. Oh, that's a really awkward way to be positioned, but I think it'll work. Don't find out. Oh, I don't like that you're bouncing like that, actually. You are wobbling really weird. We'll find out. We'll see. I don't like that wobble. It's not making me happy. You're a little far, but I think that'll work. We're gonna find out. We're about to. We're about to find out. All right. All right. I think we can do this. All lined up pretty well. Oh, nice. Nailed it. All right. Luckily, I think we're okay. All right, that's a little better anyways. That was, that was really derpy by me. I knocked that thing straight over. Oh, oh, whoo, I almost moved too far. Okay, make a save, we made it. Thank goodness. Thank Jesus. 
All right. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to pull out our machine gun. We are going to attempt to uh, shoot this thing right in the corner here. Oh, that was nice. Really fast. That was not bad. Usually that takes me, I don't know, that was a little bit tricky, but oh, that wasn't that wasn't so horrible. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I made that look like it wasn't so bad. It's it's really not even that bad of a trick, but it's just like if you mess it up, then it gets messed up so bad and just like becomes so much harder. Like if you knock one of those, um, you get machine gun damage. If you knock one of those things over, that you're trying to jump on and it like goes onto its side, it just like instantly becomes a nightmare. But we did it, and it wasn't so horrible. Grab some drill fuel and maybe also some frag grenades. Yeah, more grenades. There we go. That's good. Out of my way, please. All right, we're gonna grab this drill fuel. Thank you. We're gonna switch to our scout, and we're gonna use our scout right when we hit that cycle there. This is a super cool trick. So scout allows you to like sneak out of your body and like go explore areas and then like sneak back into your body. But we can use it while we're hitting that le lever to uh, pull out our drill underwater um, and obviously zoom around and go much faster. So that was real nice. There we go. All right. Wobble bad, wobble bad. What's up? RNG hats, rats, no tanks. Yeah, the, the Hill Runner's hat for Bioshock Infinite. Notorious. Notorious uh, element for that run. All right. Let's do this run run nice and fast. This is probably like the newest like major trick that we found in this run. Um, we used to like do this whole level, but we can basically do this one room of this level and um, skip past almost all the rest of it. So we're gonna hit that, cause this little sequence to trigger. There we go. Come down here, buy some things. We are gonna buy a plasma slot. We're gonna get our fire back. We are gonna get Winter Blast 3. There we go. And maybe some Eve upgrades. There we go. So I'm gonna try to get this real quick. Okay, we are going to do a quick save. Okay, so we need to collect four of these plants, and there's these plants scattered to throughout the level. But if we just mash the use button enough times, hopefully it should be nice and let me get all of them. I got all four of them. Got those guys, very nice. We just gotta fight, like, a small wave of enemies, and then we will be done with this level, basically. I shot him from the premises. Hopefully they should spawn to my left and right here. Hopefully I should be able to freeze them. Before they go running too far. Here, I saw you guy. Where they at? Where they at? Where you guys at? There we go. That was nice and fast. Buy me out with this, this bribe, this penance, this. All right, we'll grab one more of those. Okay. Hopefully, I have enough um grenades. I feel like I have plenty of grenades still. That's good. Okay, grab this, grab this, and get out of here. That wasn't bad, that went pretty smoothly. Get on out of here.
we got the key from that level. We're able to unlock the secret, super secret wall that leads us to the last couple levels here. You. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Water zoomies. Heck yeah, water zoomies are the best. Especially because you just, you move so slow, it's just nice to be able to zoom through all that stuff. So I got a PB in this in this category, any percent. Um, I shot to like about a month a month or two ago. By like three minutes, it was like a really nice PB. Put me from fifth to fourth place. And while I was practicing for this last week, I got like a few gold splits on, on this couple levels in this run. So it was, it's been a good, been some good good speed run-ins for the Bioshock 2 recently. It's, it's been nice. It's been nice. Grab that. All right. This is like kind of like a weird little mini level. Um, we end up, uh, like, yeah, it's pretty quick, pretty short. We end up getting to a point um, where we like get put inside of uh, a little sister's body and we get to see what the world looks like um, through the eyes of a little sister, which is kind of neat. Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch my way, now, please. I envy your ignorance. You still believe. All right. Oh, and I'm gonna put a uh, grenade right there. We're gonna use our scout right here. So we're doing a little trick. We're putting our scout right in the corner there, and like the game gets confused and thinks that we're like through that wall, and it um. Like triggers a cutscene that's only supposed to play when we actually get to that part of the level. But normally we'd have to like do a whole thing and listen to some dialogue. Use the and we'd have to like fight a couple of big sisters. But we skip all that nonsense by putting that scout into the corner there and just, just tricking the game. Very tricky, tricky little trick. It's kind of a cool one. I wish there was more of that in the run. Like just placing scout in the corner just like triggers like, a part of the level. It's kind of neat. So yeah, this is the level that most people kind of, it's like people's least favorite level, just because this is where we, in a second, we're going to get the Eleanor Lamb diatribe, where she just speaks at you for like five minutes straight. It's it's kind of annoying. What are you waiting for, kid? What are you waiting for, kid? We're getting like overlapping dialogue from NPCs, which is kind of neat. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child. It's no longer my, my child. She is a monster. A monster. Rude. Not nice to say about your daughter. Just as she has always wanted. Just as she has always wanted. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. Oh, give me. Kind of messed up. So this is like a mess up. So she's choking her out on the bed, right? But then, like, to add insult to injury, after she's unconscious, she knocks her off the bed. Right? Why? Why throw her off the bed? You already smothered her. That seems seems like overkill. Totally unnecessary. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. But if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. He'll return Stay elsewhere. At all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father. So this part's kind of annoying, but it is kind of cool to see what the, the world looks like to this little sister. So you just have to suffer through to listening to Eleanor. Bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying yeah. now. Oh, oh hi, little sister. But I can still Sneaks. help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. All right. Things look a lot more rosy. Little rose rose-colored lenses through the eyes of a little sister here, as you can see. 
We like crawl through these hidey holes, and what we're doing here is we're basically gathering suit parts for Eleanor Lamb, grabbing three different parts of a uh, big sister suit. We're gonna turn her into a big sister. And the helmet, the, the bodysuit, and the gloves, I think. I think that's what it is. Good. Now, inside Mother's office, there's a way to unlock these chambers she's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. Find a way to slip in there. Sounds good. Sounds good, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. You're in. Pull it, and it will unlock ourselves. Been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. What Mother did to me left me very weak. I would do this. So there's like three NPCs that you interact with in this game. So, so there's like I don't know. Bioshock has the the good choices, bad choices thing. That's kind of like a theme of the game. Save the scissors versus harvest them. You get like Please the good or bad ending, whatever. Them to me. So Bioshock 1 had like the good, neutral, and bad ending. But Bioshock 2 has good, neutral, and bad ending, but it also has like good and bad variants of those endings, um, depending on how you interact with those few NPCs. So you get one aspect of the ending is, is based on how you interact with the uh, little sisters, and the other parts of the ending are, are based on how you interact with the uh, NPCs. And those statues, those red statues, there's three of them in this level, and they they change depending on how you interact with the NPC. So you can get like different different little statues, different displays set up based on uh, the decisions you've made in the run. Just kind of neat. Kind of neat. I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their. We got all three parts of the suit. Because of me. On our way back to go turn Eleanor into a big sister. Now, as far as sidekicks go, Eleanor Lamb's actually like super tough. Like if you're doing a casual playthrough, or like if you're doing like a, a hard difficulty playthrough, Eleanor Lamb uh, absolutely tears it up. She kicks ass. Um, we, we don't need to mess around with her too much. She ends up, she, she can be like your little battling buddy. She's, yeah, super, super powerful. So Does all the damages. What I'm about Some good crowd, crowd control as well. It's perfectly natural. It's perfectly natural. Oh, Ready now. much better. Ready now. All right. There she is. Hi, Eleanor. Your suits always did remind me of you, Father. The skin of a born survivor. And you look now different. I'm ready to fight at your side. Mother doesn't stand a chance. Mother doesn't stand a chance. Take Over here and get the, the plasmid. You can Over here and grab this real quick. Side in a fight. All right. So. Oh, you're alive. Wow. That grenade I placed down earlier was supposed to kill that, that person. It didn't. I know you can hear. We'll do a quick save load and then we play like an audio or audio diary right when the load oh, is done loading. Going to drop this and it allows us to skip some dialogue. It's miles deep. We have to toss that right there to get those guys out of our way. Boom. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, not bad. Alright. This is the last level. Last level. And this takes about this level takes about ten minutes. We got about ten minutes left in the run. Do a diary skip right at the beginning of the level here. Hopefully it's nice to us. We'll do a quick save just in case it's mean. This one's tricky. It's so quick. Yeah, I did, I did too fast. So fast. Oh there we go. Second try. That's actually not bad. We wanna come over here and kind of look up into the ceiling. That helps to trigger this next this next part of the level. So we're gonna hack this machine so we can get some affordable um drill fuel throughout the level. It would be our drill fuel spot. This 
Get some drill fuel going on. All right. All right. Back this. Bam. All right. So there's like a guy. There's a guy in this game, NPC named Sinclair, and he's kind of like your little buddy. He like guides you through the level. He's kind of like what Atlas is in Bioshock 1, like that's what he is in Bioshock 2, except he's actually, he doesn't turn against you. Um, but the bad guy ends up turning your, your friend into a, a big daddy against his will. He's there like trying not to attack you, like trying to battle against his uh, his will. But yeah, no, you got, you got turned into one of them big daddies. A pretty cruel, cruel fate. It's sad to see that happen. Normally there's dialogue right here. Normally he's not just standing there up against the window, all emo. Usually he's like talking to you, but we do that diary skip at the beginning of the level, which gets rid of all, gets rid of all that dialogue. So he's gonna sit there and watch him just put sand on the, the glass. Out of my way, please. Thank you. Oh, hi guys. I prefer that you weren't always sitting there, to be honest. Some girl dashes. Grab some drill fuel right here. You got it, nice. All right, twenty six seventy three. That is our new thing. We're gonna get our grenade launcher out. We're gonna get our ice out. Take care of him, loot his body real quick, get the thing, there we go. Yeah, that was Sinclair, that was our buddy that we just killed there, how sad. Alright, we're just waiting for a little bit of a timer before we can get out of here. There we go. Now we'll zoom on out of here, we killed Sinclair, now we gotta take care of uh, a couple groups of little sisters here in this level. That is our next, our next objective. I'm not trying to do it at work, guys, so... Oh, hi. Pardon me. Thanks for not body blocking me. There we go. Grenades are good. Grenades are good. Oh, thanks, guy. Pardon me. If you guys can just stay right there and not bother me, that'd be great. We got time for a quick donation? Yeah! Alright, All right, we, we have, have a $20, $20 anonymous, anonymous donation, donation that says the strats in this speedrun speed seem to be pretty chill. Yeah, the, the, uh, yes, I like it. I like the reference to the, uh, the Winter Blast. Well, thank you very much for the dono, that's very good. Uh, we're getting at a pretty good amount of money here, look at that. It'd be awesome if we could hit 1500 by the end of this thing. We are very close. That that's a very solid, good number to try to get to. Yeah, we are very close to that fifteen hundred. Such a nice, a nice like round, perfect number. Sure. All right, we're gonna get our ice out. We're gonna get our grenade out. We are gonna go up here. We, oh, there's supposed to be an enemy right up there. There you are. That's weird. That's fine. We got him there. That's okay. Just need to be fast. All right, so this should be, this combat should pretty much be done. Oh, apparently I didn't do it right. The enemies are still spawning. Oh, that's all right. There's like a fast way to uh, to beat this fight. And apparently I didn't do it that way. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there behind me. That's nice. Got you. There we go. Now we're done. There we go. Now she's gonna sacrifice all those little sisters, because that's how Eleanor Lamb rolls. She's, she's bad, Eleanor Lamb. 
Eleanor Lamb is either like good or bad, depending on what choices you make with the Little Sisters during the run. We always choose to um, harvest the Little Sisters, so Eleanor always has a little bit of an attitude during our speed runs. There you go, get some grenades, get some, some drill fuel, and we'll move on! Zoom! Zoom! Grab some extra drill fuel in this room. Pew. Thank you. Zooms! That guy will loot you. Why not? We'll loot everybody. Zooms and zooms. Alright, we're getting close to the, uh, like one of the last fights. Also pretty scripted. Um, hopefully I pull it off correctly. Last, My last scripted fight was a little goofy. Come on now. Let's go. Uh, this is not supposed to be a hard thing to get through. There we go. This is not a I'm gonna put that right there and right there. Put some right there and right there. All right. That guy should have exploded, I feel like. I think I got him off. Oh, there we go. Almost. Is that it? Is that it? Are we good? Yes, we are. There we go. Nice. Thing. We'll zoom on out of here. We'll do a death warp. And we'll trigger the actual, actual last fight. That fight could have gone a little bit faster, but that wasn't like horrible. All right, we're gonna lose all of our health here. Oops. We are gonna then jump off the edge here. We death warp. There we go. There we go. All right. And so now we trigger the final fight, and so... I don't remember what source it was, some Twitter poll I saw once. This, this story always kind of makes me chuckle. There was, like, a Twitter poll of, of what the, the toughest, um, Bioshock, like, boss battle was. And Bioshock 2 won. It won for toughest, uh, boss battle out of all the Bioshocks. Um, which just makes me laugh because... Uh, until I can bring it to this oil. is the easiest boss fight in maybe any game that exists. So all it is is just a timer. A timer from whenever you interact with that. Um, we don't have to worry about these enemies. We can fight them if we want, but all we gotta do is, is start that little sequence and then we can just literally sit here in the Vita chamber and just wait for the end of the game. So we got... <laughs> We got about a couple minutes till till the run is uh, done, and we're just we'll just chill here, chill here in the Vita chamber and wait for it all to finish. A nice easy ending to the run. So, yeah. Now now is also a good time if we got any donations, but yeah. Otherwise, we'll just chill. Yeah, this, this sounds like a pretty easy boss fight to me, I must say. Yeah, yeah. Just hanging out, just hanging out. This Hi guys. The data chamber. Hello. <laughs> yep. Safe and sound. Can't get me here, guys. So now would be a great time to remind everyone that we are raising funds for RAD, or Rise Above This Order. They are a nonprofit de dedicated to removing the two greatest barriers facing mental health care access and affordability. To accomplish their mission, they provide a universal mental health care system to people around the globe. If you believe in a world where everyone has access to the hope, health, and happiness they serve, you are rad. For more information, you can visit urrad.org, or you can donate by tapping in exclamation point donate in chat. 
Right on, right on. Yes, indeed, a good cause. Very good cause. Like the most anticlimactic ending ever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Basically. Just lean back and just wait. And just wait. It's, been, it's kind of funny, especially at a run where you're like, you know you didn't get a PB. It's like, do you just reset once you start this fight, or do you just let it finish? Just wait a couple minutes and, and let it finish for the viewers, you know? You kind of just... Usually, yeah, you got to bite the bullet and just let the viewers experience the end of the game. Okay, so I, I always forget, it's like two minutes or two and a half minutes, and you got to get to this console, and then we're going to, like, we bust those pipes right there by zapping them with a lecker bolt and then shooting them with this machine gun. Um, I, I feel like I always get out of the beach, beach chamber too early. Yep, here they are. They coming. They coming to get me. Hopefully, hopefully it'll let me get out of here soon. You can place down like a target dummy, like a little decoy if you want. Otherwise, there we go. Now we're good. We we'll use that. A little shock and zap. Shock and zap. Or shock and zap. Shock and, and shoot. Zap and shoot. There we go. All right, and that's the end of that fight. We're gonna go into a room and enter a door, and that'll be the end of the run. So we're we're coming up pretty quick here. I'll give you a little countdown for when the end of the run's coming. Probably in like five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of the run. I was a couple minutes over my PB, but all in all, that that wasn't a, a horrible run at all. Not too bad. Nothing gave me too much trouble. But yeah, all right. I'll um. I'll go ahead and press escape there, otherwise it'll it'll get to a uh, unskippable unskippable end cutscene. Oh, hi, buds. We're not done yet, my friend. I, I got another game to play. Um, but yeah, that's Bioshock 2. Um, yeah, I think we said we're going to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a break here before we do Minerva's Den, right? Yep, yep exactly. exactly. Just, Just a really, really quick break, break so, you know, you know get, get up, stretch, get, get some water, hydrate, all that stuff, and, and we will be back soon with that, that DLC, DLC of Bioshock, Bioshock 2. 2. Good scritches for you, dog. All right, well, as long as we're taking a little break, I think I'm going to go do a little bio break, so I'll be back in just a second. 